Hey, this is Mr. Weirich. I'm coming to you from my house today. I'm getting a chance to uh, make this video at school. So this is going to be going over the highlights of our Algebra 2 Chapter 3 review for the test. So at the beginning, uh, we have these systems of equations with two and three variables. Uh, you can solve them by substitution. You can solve them by elimination. Either way will work. Uh, this is also, also, this is also a multiple choice test. So the answers will be on the test. You could take the answers, substitute it back in, make sure it works in both of them. That would be an acceptable way to find the correct answer to this. Just remember, if you're using elimination, they need to match up and be opposites. So um, like on this, where it's the 12 and the negative 6, multiply the entire bottom equation by 2, then combine them top to bottom. That would make it to where you're solving by uh, elimination. On like number seven here, you could solve this for x by adding 4y. So you know x is 5 plus 4y substituted into the second one. If you have the same equation, it's going to have an infinite number of solutions because they're the same. If you have two equations that don't meet, it's because they're parallel lines. Uh, and if you have um, just be sure to check if you're doing the, the matrix one, It'll say singular matrix for either no solutions or all solutions, so you got to check it one other way. Uh, if you're working down here at the bottom, you can use that calculator shortcut. Remember, it's menu and then three and then two, and that'll take you to that solve system of equations. Uh, the shortcut there on the calculator, remember, you have to type it in exactly as it appears. If you're looking for the matrix equations, remember, the labels for those are... Well, the one with all of the coefficients is the coefficient matrix. That's your number one that you have to raise to the negative first power. The one with all of the letters in it, that's going to be your variable matrix. And then after the equals sign, that's going to be either your product matrix or your constant matrix. Either way, uh, should be fine if it ever asks you for the labels. On the back side, these word problems, remember setting them up is very important. Mostly what it's going to be is identify the one that is set up correctly. So you're finding multiple choice which one matches up to that. Uh, this one with the food, again, it's, it's finding the right system of equations that's matched up to that and finding the solution maybe after that. Solving systems of inequalities like these are. Remember, we're shading above, we're shading below. You have to have the overlap. So the overlap is probably all that's going to be shaded on those multiple choice answers for you to find. These down here at the bottom, these are going to be very important. These are the linear programming ones. So on this where it says find the vertices, you graph all three of these. And it's going to make, because there's three of them, a triangular section. So you find each intersection, each corner of that. That's one of the vertices. Find those by finding the intersections uh, on the calculator or going through and solving each system. Uh, on this one, find the vertices and find the maximum or minimum value. Okay, this over here is all of my boundaries for the region, and I think this is the one where there weren't quite enough boundaries, so you, you had to use um, the, the zero as another boundary, if I remember correctly. If not, then this makes a triangle. And then this line is saying, okay, uh, you have $2 for each X answer and $14 for each Y answer. What is the maximum amount of money that you could make from one of those intersection points? What is the minimum amount of money that you could make from one of those intersection points? Be on the lookout for ones like this on the test. If you don't get it, come by my desk in the morning. I'll talk to you about what you need to find in these cases. But this is just like the word problem that we did with the big setup. And you go through, you find all those intersections and the maximum point. It may not be just the biggest numbers, but what's going to multiply out of this one that runs through here to make the biggest numbers. All right. Hopefully that has answered most of your questions, giving you a guide to what you need to study, what you need to look over. Again, any last-minute questions you can address to me in class or tomorrow morning at my desk. Thanks for watching.